Hello and welcome back to another After Effects video. In this video I'm going to simply show you how to do mask paths into motion paths. So we'll start with a solid layer, put that in here, and we have this shape, uh, this picture here. I'll just quickly show you what it looks like. And what we want to do is we just want to create a mask path and then convert it into a motion path so this object is going to go around the path. So let's have a look at how we might do that. Well, all we can do is we'll choose our ellipse tool. You can choose any tool at all and we're going to make sure we've got our solid selected and we're going to draw our shape out. So it can be any shape. Uh, we'll just make it a circle for now. And all we have to do is you go to the mask path here, control C, go to our picture here and make sure you can just press P here, hit the position and paste. And that is it. So it's very, very simple. And you see it goes around the motion path. Now, a couple of things to talk about here. So one of the things we could do is we could go to the layer, we could go to transform, and we could go auto orient. It's going to orient along the path. So now it goes along the path. And for this one, we're going to want to have a little rotation. So we'll try a rotation of 90 degrees. So you see, now it's following around the path. We could select all the points here. We could do keyframe assistant. We could do keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. It will now go in a clockwise direction. Now, one of the interesting things that we could do as well is you can see that it is sort of like only half of the things on there. So what we might want to do is we might want to go back into our mask here and we can expand the mask. So we'll select our mask here and we expand the mask just so we can see the outside. It's going to be pretty close to the bottom of the uh, thing here, but say, so for instance, that, and then we can select the mask path, copy it, go back into the position, and paste that one in. Then you've got the same effect there. So, what you could also do as well is these are called roving keyframes. So, what it means is that depending on how long I want the animation to last, I'd simply have to drag this last one, and all the others will adjust. So the great thing about this is not only can you do it with any shape, you can do it with any path. So this is a closed path because it's a circle, so there's no openings in the path. But there's no reason at all that we couldn't do something completely different. So for instance, say we have this, uh, say we wanted to do a line path. So say this shape, for whatever reason, we want it to come, come in from here, go around here, up here, and up here. Exactly the same process, right? So you'll simply go to the mask path, copy it, and then in position we can just copy and paste that. Very, very simple. So that's all for now. So thanks for watching.